Okay, so what I'm going to show first of all is um, a power app. Uh, this is on my phone that I'm showing now. A power app that I've built that we'll use for this scenario. So it's uh, the instant reporting app. There it is in my power apps list. Let's go in and take a look. Now I'm speeding this part up just because um, we don't have much time and just showing you some bits of how the app works. And, and this is essentially something that I spent literally a day or a day and a half on and what we're going to do is uh, is log an incident you can see it uses the camera control on the phone um, all I've got is my desk and my uh, my window so I've taken um, a picture with that and we've submitted it now if we go into the back end of the application you can see it using the camera control there that's me on the uh, on the different camera on my surface now but if we go into the implementation what we'll see is uh, a bunch of formulas. So here um, I'm essentially setting up some file names and, and somewhere in there, there was the use of a flow and that's the critical thing here. So um, what I've done is I've clicked the power automate button. You see here, and we just pause this actually, it, um, it finds all of the, the flows in my tenant that use the power apps trigger and it's allowing me to bind them to my little sample application. What I do is I select the one I want, which is instant photo processing, and it will uh, drop the right, it will do the binding, and it will drop the right uh, call, the right formula, into my uh, Power Apps formula that I'm building behind the control. And now this gives me the way of calling from my Power App to Power Automate. That's how I bind a Power App with a flow. And what we're doing here is we're using this to submit the incident report and the data goes into SharePoint and we're also using it to pass the image essentially. Um, and it's, it's this that passes the photo, it captures it from the device. It's a really simple way of doing it. You're essentially using a couple of flows to, to deal with the back end. And there's my image, it's landed in SharePoint. I have a, uh, essentially a library that the images go in and I have a list that the incident reports go into. So you can see uh, that's the incident just logged. And if we go to the pictures library, you know what you see here is there are a couple of columns, image description and image metadata, and they are currently empty for that particular image. So the image has landed in there, but where we're going to go is to use AI to populate those. It's AI that's going to describe the image uh, and add some metadata. So far, what we've really got is uh, the data being logged to SharePoint. That's what we're using as our data store. You can see that the, uh, the, the image from the device is being captured um, and the item in the uh, reporting list is captured. Now what we want to move on to is implementing the AI. So here we are going to uh, open a flow that I've half built doesn't do anything much at the moment. It's just got some uh, variables being populated. And what we're going to do is um, we're actually getting that image that's just landed in there. That's what's triggering this particular flow. We're going to use the computer vision API. Uh, this is the part of Azure cognitive services that can deal with image recognition. Configure these activities now, and what we need to pass to them is the file content. That's essentially the contents of the image that have landed in SharePoint. So we're going to use one action called describe image content, and then we're going to find another one, uh, which is to tag the image. And these essentially use different forms of, of image recognition or different forms of processing. Again, we pass it the, uh, the image content, uh, the file content, and now what we've got is AI interrogating that image, trying to understand what's in it, building a description, building a set of tags. And nothing's going to happen with that unless we, we do something with it. So what we're going to do is make sure that uh, we're building up a list of the tags, we're, we're comma separating them. And then if we just go ahead and if you're familiar with Power Automate, you can probably guess what I'm about to do. And that's to write the tag, uh, the tag values and the description, write it back to the SharePoint library uh, against the file so that I'm now uh, adding properties. The, the values that the AI has derived, I'm going to write back to SharePoint so that they're stored alongside the file. 
So we'll use update file properties. We'll find where we're working, the incident reporting and the picture library. And I'm essentially setting the description to the description and the metadata to the tags and I'm saving and something I just need to fix up here in the flow and then I think we'll be good. Okay, so let's just skip ahead here. We've now got a flow and let's set, uh, we're now at the point of testing this. So what I want to do is drag and drop uh, an image into this document library. Um, that's uploading my flow should execute and if we go into flow and start to look at um, the sort of diagnostics there okay so we get a couple of things so a car driving down a busy street is the description and I can see a few things in the in the flow diagnostics here I can things like police car wheel emergency service and if we go and look back at our library you can see that the the tags have been stored against the item now and just take a, a note of the kind of things that we're detecting here road vehicle outdoor emergency service police police car um, you know lots of things uh, telling us what's in the incident and essentially all we did here is we uh, we came into the flow and we made sure that we're writing that back to SharePoint okay very good so you've just seen the, the simplicity of adding AI to some kinds of applications and particularly doing it the Power Automate way, uh, which is essentially the simplest approach. So let's uh, take a recap of what we got here. We've got the Power App, which is our capture mechanism. This is the thing that's allowing us to take the image, uh, supply it to SharePoint, supply some other uh, metadata that the, the, the person taking the image that's doing the incident report is able to file. And we've got two flows in the back end that are helping support this application. So the one that takes care of the incident photo processing and storing the photo, taking it from the camera uh, on, on the Power Apps application and storing it in, uh, in SharePoint. And the other one that's the adding the metadata. And this is where the AI is implemented. It's calling into ACS to, uh, to get the tags and description and writing them to SharePoint.